Embarking on a cruise is an exciting adventure, promising days of relaxation, exploration, and unforgettable experiences. However, before you can set sail and begin your dream vacation, you'll need to navigate the embarkation process. While it might seem daunting, with a little preparation and insider knowledge, you can ensure a smooth and stress-free cruise embarkation day. Here at Cruise's Edge, we tap into our decades of cruise experience and share what we've learned over the years to help improve your cruise vacations, and in today's video, we're letting you in on what you need to know before you set sail on your next cruise. So let's set sail into this informative journey. We will walk you through the tips, tricks, and best practices to make the most of this crucial day of your journey. We have 15 tips for you. Hang around till the end because tip number 15 is the final step to make the whole process work in your favor. But first, let's talk about the significance of Cruise Embarkation Day. Embarkation Day marks the official beginning of your cruise vacation. It's the day when passengers board the ship, settle into their cabins, and start exploring the vessel's numerous amenities and activities. Here's reasons why Embarkation Day is so significant. Number one, check-in and security. Passengers must go through check-in procedures and security screenings before boarding the ship. Navigating these processes efficiently can save you time and stress. Number two, cabin access. Once you board, you'll want to access your cabin to drop off your luggage and get settled. Understanding when cabins are ready is crucial. Number three, dining and reservations. Making dining reservations for specialty restaurants or securing preferred dining times for the main dining room should be done early in the day. Number four, exploration. After the initial formalities, you'll have time to explore the ship, get acquainted with its layout, and perhaps enjoy some of the onboard activities. And finally, the number five reason why Embarkation Day is so significant. Sail Away Celebration. Many cruise lines host a sail away party or event on Embarkation Day to celebrate the start of your voyage. It's a fun way to kick off your cruise experience. Now let's get into the tips they don't tell you, but we will for a smooth cruise Embarkation Day. Tip one, complete online check-in in advance. Most cruise lines offer online check-in, allowing you to fill out essential information and upload identification documents before your cruise. Completing this step in advance will expedite the check-in process at the terminal. Most cruise lines allow you to begin the check-in process 30 days before you set sail. We found the earlier you complete your online check and the more options you'll have to select your arrival window. So if you have a specific arrival window you prefer, then make sure to do your online check-in as soon as possible. Tip two, arrive early, but not too early. Cruise terminals can become crowded during peak hours. Arriving early can help you beat the crowds and embark sooner. However, arriving too early might mean a longer wait, as the ship may still be disembarking the previous passengers. Aim to arrive at the terminal a couple of hours before the cruise line's suggested check-in time. Tip three, keep important documents handy. Have your passport, cruise tickets, boarding passes, and any required visas easily accessible. You'll need these documents at various points during the embarkation process. Tip four, use luggage tags and baggage handling. Attach the cruise line's luggage tags to your checked baggage before arriving at the terminal. The staff will take care of your luggage from there, delivering it to your cabin later in the day. This allows you to move around the ship unburdened by bags. Tip five, Pack essentials in your carry-on bag. Pack a carry-on bag with essentials like medications, important documents, a change of clothes, swimwear, and any valuables. Your checked luggage may not be delivered to your cabin right away, so having these items with you is crucial. We usually pack our carry-on items in a backpack, making it easier to maneuver around the ship with, because sometimes when you board the ship, your room will be ready and sometimes it won't be. So the lighter you can make your carry-on, the better. Tip six, be patient and follow instructions. Embarkation day can be a bit chaotic with many passengers eager to board the ship. Be patient, follow the instructions of cruise line staff and be prepared for lines and wait times. Again, this can be mitigated by arriving at the beginning of your arrival window when possible. Lucky seven, take advantage of the buffet. Once on board, many passengers head to the buffet for lunch. 
It's typically more crowded than the main dining room, but it's an opportunity to start your culinary adventure. The main dining room may also be an option. It's usually less crowded because most people don't think about the fact that it is open just as you board the ship. They assume the buffet is their only option. Hi cruisers, I'm Shay, your cruise director. We're sailing under beautifully clear skies today, but I've just gotten word from the captain. Apparently there's a YouTube algorithm monster just ahead. A lot of research and effort goes into making a video like this. Hopefully if we keep things ship shaped, the algorithm monster will let us pass. We'll start by swabbing the deck. You can help us out by polishing up that like button and gently depressing it. You can smash it if you like. But we would like to be able to say no, like buttons were harmed in the making of this video. Oh, and don't forget to show the subscribe button some attention and ring the bell so you will be notified of our upcoming videos. It would help us out greatly. We have some really good content coming up and I wouldn't want you to miss out. All right, guys, this is Shay, your cruise director signing off. Thanks and back to the video. Tip eight, make reservations. If you have any dining or activity reservations to make, such as specialty restaurant reservations, shore excursions, or spa appointments, aim to do so as early as possible. These slots tend to fill up quickly. While this is a part of this list, I would consider doing this one before boarding if you can. You'll often find discounts available in the pre-boarding process, and you make sure not to miss out on anything because it's been booked up. We are scheduled for a Mediterranean cruise and we've pre-booked all of our excursions and some members of our group kept putting it off and now there's no slots left on some of the popular excursions. Tip nine, explore the ship. After settling into your cabin and enjoying your first meal, take some time to explore the ship. Familiarize yourself with the layout, locate key areas like the dining rooms, pool decks, and entertainment venues, and pick up a ship map if available. There are also maps at each elevator to help keep you from getting lost. Now, we're on to tip 10. Attend the Sail Away celebration. Don't miss the Sail Away party or celebration, typically held on the pool deck as the ship departs from its home port. It's a lively event with music, dancing, and a festive atmosphere. Definitely a great way to get in that cruise vacation mood. I personally like being on the Lido deck and watching as we sail out of port. For me, it's always the signaling of the beginning of our voyage, tip 11. Attend the mandatory safety drill. All passengers are required to attend a safety drill, usually held before the ship sets sail. Pay close attention to crew instructions and familiarize yourself with the location of your muster station, where you'd gather in case of an emergency. I love the option some ships have to complete the muster drill on your phone or on your cabin TV, and then just go check in at your station so that you're familiar with where it is makes for a seamless transition into your cruise and a more pleasant experience. Tip 12, dress comfortably. Embrace a casual and comfortable dress code for embarkation day. Cruise attire tends to be relaxed and you'll likely spend much of the day exploring the ship. Remembering not to have too many things on hand just in case your cabin isn't ready when you board. Important tip number 13 is stay hydrated. With all the excitement, it's easy to forget to stay hydrated. Carry a reusable water bottle and refill it regularly, especially if you'll be spending time outdoors. I'm sure if you find yourself lacking hydration, you can find a kind waiter walking around with a drink of the day to help pull you back from the brink of dehydration. Tip 14, plan your evening. Consider making dinner reservations for the first night. Some cruise lines offer incentives on the first night of the cruise to entice you to try the specialty restaurants. On one of our sailings with Carnival, we received a free bottle of wine in the steakhouse only available on the first night. Many passengers head to the main dining room or specialty restaurants, so securing a reservation can save you from waiting. Finally, the tip that makes the whole embarkation process flow smoothly is tip 15, be courteous to fellow passengers. A positive attitude and a friendly demeanor go a long way on embarkation day. Be considerate of fellow passengers and respect the ship's crew. This is it, you're on vacation, the hustle and bustle of the workaday world is over. Don't let anything rob you of your opportunity to unplug and relax. Embarkation day sets the tone for your entire cruise vacation, so making it as smooth and enjoyable as possible is essential. By following these tips and being prepared for the process, you can maximize your cruise experience from the very start. Embrace the excitement, explore the ship, and get ready for a journey filled with adventure and relaxation. 
Thanks for watching The Cruiser's Edge. Our goal is to help keep you informed and up to date on all things cruising, giving you an edge on cruising. If there's a video topic you'd like for us to cover, be sure to let us know in the comments section. Until next time, we here at Cruiser's Edge are wishing you happy and unforgettable cruising experiences.